You probably know something about Terry Fox. Let's talk about why he's a national hero. Born in Winnipeg and raised near Vancouver, Terry was just a regular kid who loved sports. But at only 18 years old, he was diagnosed with cancer and his right leg had to be amputated. While he was recovering in the hospital, he met young kids who were going through the same thing that had happened to him. Inspired by their stories, he wanted to find a way to give them hope. And that gave him an idea. He decided he would run across Canada, 8,000 kilometers coast to coast, to raise money for cancer research. Knowing that there, these people are still there, there's people in a bed right now who, is not gonna, who might not make it, kids my age and younger. And, and you just can't leave something like that and, try and forget it. I couldn't anyway. I had to try and do something about it. The plan was just as ambitious as Terry was. He would run an entire 42-kilometer marathon every day on a prosthetic leg made for walking, not running. It became known as the Marathon of Hope. Maybe I won't make it, but if it's up to me, I think I can do it. And in April of 1980, with $400 in donations, a relatively unknown Terry Fox stuck his foot in the Atlantic Ocean in St. John's. And then he started running. He'd run before the sun was up, and he'd run in the cold and the pouring rain. He'd even run when it hurt. He would run no matter what. His goal was to raise a million dollars. Donations were slow at first, but word started to spread about the young athlete and activist running across Canada. When a town of 10,000 people donated $10,000, Terry changed his goal of $1 million to $24 million. One dollar for every person in Canada. There's somebody here right now who is going through the same thing that I went through. Exact same thing, and he's only 10 years old. By the time he made it to Ontario, he was met by huge crowds and donations were pouring in. When people are out there like that, it was incredible today. <laughs> Unreal. What do you want most right now? Right now, what do I want most? More money. <laughs> you're getting it, you're getting it. <laughs> Terry had become a symbol of hope and determination, and soon the whole country was cheering him on. His story touched everyone, and he was an inspiration to all. Then, on September 1st, as he was closing in on Thunder Bay, Terry felt pain in his chest, and the marathon had to be stopped. Cancer had spread. No, I've got cancer in my lungs. He had run over 5,300 kilometers, more than half the total distance. More importantly, he'd raised about $1.7 million for cancer research. People continued donating money while Terry was in the hospital. When he eventually passed away in June 1981, the Marathon of Hope had raised over $24 million, and Terry met his goal of $1 for every Canadian. But his legacy was just beginning. If I don't make it, the Marathon of Hope better continue. Over 40 years later, the marathon lives on, and the Terry Fox run has raised an astounding $850 million for cancer research. Terry inspired a movement, carried on by the thousands of kids who follow in his footsteps and take part in the run each year. And that is why Terry Fox is a national hero.